hello ladies and gentlemen uh just a quick update video on the channel and what's going on with what i'm doing with the games that i'm making and all that other stuff so pretty much um with don haven we are still working on don haven uh probably not as much but this game has to be completed so what i'm actually doing is i did want to actually migrate everything from don haven to uh rpg maker mz but i'm actually going to just start a new series completely well not a new series a new game but in the same series the book of the gods um we're gonna pretty much explore the next continent which is where the alakians come from um so this is mavel the deadlands there used to be a volcano that erupted which is what's causing this massive um dead land in the middle um but we're gonna get into this in a little bit with don haven we are still working on it um this needs to be updated uh because some of this stuff is pretty much completed at this point uh i just have to add it into the game but yeah if you guys want to play don haven there's two ways you can play it you could either go to my patreon which is over here it gets updated first um so yeah, you could download it from here if you're subscribed. And then over here, if you just want to buy the game outright, you could also get it from HIO. Uh, and here's the link. I'll leave that in the description down below. Okay, so pretty much uh, that's it for Dawn Haven. Uh, so before we actually move on to what I've done so far with the new game, I am recording um, everything. So once I get a significant amount of progress i'm gonna start uploading those i also will be live streaming this just in case you guys want to tune in i don't have a set schedule for the live stream it's just kind of when i feel like working on it so i'll try to like make a post like an hour before to kind of keep you guys um to get you guys notified but i'm gonna be live streaming it i'm also gonna be recording it and do a more detailed video um of the whole process later uh okay <clears throat> pretty much uh we've also updated the timeline so this if you guys don't know the series that i that don't haven is actually under is the book of the gods uh which is kind of like my spin on the elder scrolls um so pretty much that's the whole series and then we have dawn haven we have Mavel, and then the next series and then we have dawn haven we have Mavel, and then the next game after that is going to be adrianus which is going to be where the elves come from and then maybe later we'll explore the um the giant continent in the middle where well i'll just leave that for later but pretty much we updated the lore um i did a video on these a whole bunch i mean a while ago so if you guys want to know these parts you can read you can go watch those videos and see what's going on but pretty much if you guys are new over here parthrian parthrium is the it's kind of like the it's like a god or like an entity that existed he got bored so he created two spirits um one of the spirits killed the other one so he traps the other one in like a time loop or well there's no time at that point but he traps um them in a the loop to relive um the moment that they killed his sister um and then later he splits himself into six smaller beings because the space he was in was like to protect him that's why he made the spirit so he turned himself into six physical bodies and then later on one discovers how to create stuff and then they started fighting to figure out who can create stuff three of them form the alliance and then defeat the other ones um and then also at some point um, i don't know exactly where i'm kind of like um summarizing this um this guy that killed his sister the spirit breaks free creating time and the flow of time or whatever um so after they kill the other gods the three whatever comes together and create the planet that we're on and then one of the gods create the humans the other one creates the um the elves and the other one creates the alakais and then after the other three gods regain their powers from being weakened they say oh wow you guys are messing up everything you wanted so they created evil stuff like monsters and evil thoughts or whatever one of the first murders occurs uh, alakian kills an elf over food um and then after the world was like engulfed in like chaos and like a whole bunch of evil as it was spreading the gods decide to split the continents up to kind of keep um everything from um from spreading uh and then something happened with the sun because that's how magic was born i don't know exactly what happened with that um i forgot the sun is born with magic <clears throat> i mean magic is born from the enemy from the sun and stars and blah 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 uh and then the elves elves were the perfect beings to be created so they had like the they can like gain the most 
source from like the sun and like the reasons why these beings are created the elves and humans or whatever so they could like take all the energy that they gather from like the sun and then give it back to like the gods because they were weak from creating the um the planets and stuff um but then they discover magic and from uh magic they started kind of wasting the um, energy and then the gods kind of like retreated from the world permanently because you know they weren't really getting anything back from it because uh, they were so weak um but yeah elves discover magic the master magic like the master magic like a whole while before anyone else masters magic um they build a city made out completely magic, um, complete, completely out of magic. Um, and then they're really, you know, they're enjoying their peace. Um, like, literally, they're, like, so peaceful. Then one day, this guy says, hey, well, we're kind of peaceful, and I want to spread this peace to everywhere else. So he decides that he wants to go conquer the world, and then, you know, well, he first says, hey, guys, come under my rule, and then we'll be peaceful, and then I'll show you guys what to do. The other place, guys are like, you know what, we kind of don't want that. We want to, we, we like how we're living. And then he says, you know what, I'm going to do it by force and moves. So he gets an army, he conquers everyone, he builds high fire. Dunhaven. So the capital of, of Dunhaven, actually no, um, yeah, the capital of Dunhaven is actually was an Elven city, um, <clears throat> but then you know the Elves no longer control Dunhaven, and then also Crossfire and Mabel. Uh, so where we've actually updated is the Alakian timeline because this is where the story, well, that land that the story is going to be taking place. Um, we don't have a human timeline yet, but humans kind of cross reference both of these, and then I'll make their own separate one later. So pretty much, the Alakians kind of had like the roughest start. Um, so uh they killed they you know committed the first murder but they didn't know really what it was it was over an apple or something they killed an elf um and then after that because of where they kind of lived they started killing each other for because it was a um food was scarce so they started killing each other the shift begins um and that's when the world kind of divided into two due to the need to fight over the little food they had in the continent because the way it was split they really on top of them not having food before now they have even less food so they started fighting war continues to ravage the land so many war chiefs rise and fall um <clears throat> And then one Alakian learns about how the world used to be, so he starts studying the oceans and how to like navigate because he wants to like travel to other parts of the world, um, because he learned how it used to be before the shift. Uh, so after he, um, he he finds a new source of food and stuff from sailing, so he comes back. Um, he says, "Hey, to his brother, I found food. We have to go over there. So let's go unite the five clans um, because there's only five clans left at the time. Um, so they fight, whatever." Um, their brother wins the whatever the, the battle and then after the battle this one all the five clans are united and then after that they start raiding Hyron, um, which is um, a human city well it's not it's an island the human island off the coast of Dunhaven um, so they started raiding them killing people then one day Chris the leader of the, of the um, Christian Knights um, led a raid back to Mabel attacking the clan pretty much almost kind of like wiping them out um, Yeah, so the five clans band together to fight the human. Oh, actually, no, that's not what happened. I'm sorry. Completely wrong. Because I'm not really reading this. I'm kind of going off the top of my head. So, after they um, they did the fight, the battle or whatever, and defeated the other clans, um, their clan went to the to raid Hyron. And then the humans attacked all the um, all the clans, which made them come together to then go fight the humans. Battle of the Beast, Chris and his knights uh, fight the sea battle. Um, and then the, the Alakians won. Hyron on fire. Um, so, pretty much... They set Hyron on fire, the blackest knight, so under the cover of night, Chris led his troops over 10,000 knights and 50 um, warships to pretty much take over ground sea foe called, uh, called Ash Knight. At that point, they pretty much burned the whole city. Um, yeah, they burned the gardens, they burned everything. Treaty of Hyron, humans retreat their troops, Alakians return the city. So pretty much, the Alakians captured Hyron, they burned it down, and then Chris, to retaliate, sailed all his troops to ground sea foe, which is the only place that... Um, <clears throat> the only place that the... Um, Alakians really grew food and all that other stuff. So after that, they kind of started, um, they had an open trade agreement where they could trade and do other stuff to kind of like uh, get their um, peace back or whatever. Uh, they built the city, they did trades with human, then the Doom of Zepho, uh, a meteorite falls from the ground, wiping out the whole city. Not a volcano, what was I talking about? Yeah, so this is a meteorite. Meteorite struck this right here, boom. Now it's like that. Um, so the Alakians evacuate, some of them go to Hyron as refugees, and then refugees was too much they sent them back to oh yeah they started killing them and you know trying to send them back to whatever back to their land and then they had to go back to the land um because they were having riots and stuff because you know they were overpopulated and the humans was like bro this is our land go back to your land um so uh, one of the leaders of the alakians finally rebuilt ground sifo made it two times bigger after they discovered oh yeah the alakians are the best at smith and stuff so they discovered this technology um to smith what is called um with the meteorite that struck them they discovered how to like um well they mined it and then used it to make uh, more havoc aura which they then used to make the strongest blocks or whatever and they used it to rebuild their city um they also explored most of the known world first they master crafting and sailing relationship with humans grow weaker as humans exploit oh yeah so also because the alakians are stronger and whatever um the humans kind of like uh since the refugees 
that mingled with the humans kind of stayed in the human lands and they were like cheap labor so they were kind of using them for cheap labor and like you know blah 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 all races adopt the elven calendar this is later um but the reason why i'm starting that now is because we entered the first era um at 10,000 ae i mean ac my bad um my bad 1000 10,000 ae we entered the second era which is when the elves um attack the everyone but right now we didn't finish that we still gotta finish that but luckily the story that we're kind of like telling takes place around um alicans evacuate power becomes overpopulated so it kind of takes place around like this time period right before actually no from here to here <clears throat> so alicans uh so between this time period um z foes were built with new technology so this is after the meteorite came destroyed everything and they're kind of like rebuilding but they haven't rebuilt yet so that's where we're starting so the land is still kind of in chaos it's only one city um and there's some um outpost the game we're making is gonna be um it's gonna be an open world rpg of course but it's gonna be more like a rogue uh what do you call it? a roguelite is that what they're called where so here's the premise there's three zones i forgot what what they're called but i'll just call this the blue zone the yellow zone and the black zone right within the yellow zone when you die um you just come back nothing really happens but in the red um the yellow zone when you die you drop your gear um you lose all your gear but you still come back to life but then if you die in the black zone, you're permanently, like, dead. Like, your character gets wiped. So that's kind of like the premise of the game. You're still exploring. Um, I haven't come up with the story yet. Right now, we're just purely working on the map. Um, I have a few mechanics um, that's obviously going to get carried over from Dawnhaven, such as the enemies are going to spawn um where you are and all the events and stuff that's why we are keeping the open world i mean keeping the huge world map we're just gonna spawn everything in as we need them um i'm a programmer now so i can write some custom scripts to kind of keep track of stuff um in terms of spawning and stuff so i'm thinking about making like a radius around the character that allows you that um where the enemies can spawn in and all that other good stuff um right now there's really no method to my madness i'm just kind of drawing cool stuff and then i know i want the city to be in the middle um because that's where um the meteor struck and then the best place in the middle i found was right here um because again i sectioned the maps up 50 by 50 i follow my own advice not all the time but sometimes and then what i will be doing is as you can see these are all the individual maps i'm gonna come in and then add all the details once i have all the details in i'm gonna copy it and paste it back over here <clears throat> all right so a couple more things so after i paste the map over here um i'll pretty much line up everything but that's pretty much it with the map um i haven't really decided what points of interest um i'm gonna put in the game i kind of try to make everything stick with the lore and stuff oh i'm also planning on writing a book for the lore if you guys are interested in um, getting a copy of the lore and stuff like that um when i do I'll let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much the plan right now is finish the map. Finish the overworld map. Finish the town map as in like the inside. Then do all the dungeons and all the caves. With that being said, I'm also not going to make the story something too convoluted. Um, I'm going to keep the story light. And I'm going to see if I could make it so you could kind of pick up the story from anywhere. Because... It's not gonna be a linear starting location because I'm the the way the land is right now is kind of chaotic where most people or most of the people um in here are kind of fending for themselves. Um and the only real safe place is really the main city that's over here. 
so yeah it's gonna be a lot of survival mechanics in here kind of like um the ga the previous game i made with mz or mv i forgot which one it was but survival island um without the building stuff which is gonna be purely rpg stuff um but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i'm excited um i'm excited man i am excited let me kind of fill these parts in but yeah uh like i said once i get it up some more footages for uh, from this from me actually making the game i'm gonna go ahead and um start releasing some videos for you guys but for the most part Yeah, thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to um, be updated every time, I, every time I release a new video. And there's going to be more videos coming up. Uh, if you guys can, watch it all the way to the end because I need those watch times so I can get monetized. Uh, make sure you hit that bell notification icon to be updated every time I actually do release those videos. And I'm going to be live streaming a lot, so you guys definitely want to turn those bell notification because most of my videos will be from live streams and then i'll do some tutorials every now and then um we're gonna be doing a lot of coding too um i just gotta figure out how this whole thing is set up and whatnot whatnot but we're gonna come in here we're gonna make our own plugins um yeah we're gonna get advanced with this but yeah guys tune in tune in it's gonna be great you don't want to miss it telling you right now you don't want to miss it tune in if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button doesn't kill you it's free and it supports me but besides that have a good night good day whatever time you're watching this peace